All right, this is U2 Fire Alarm 9200, and this is going to be System Test 9. So, what I have up today is, well, more simplex mechanical horns. And as you can see over here, I got, I got a little something different. And no, this pull station is not on Zone 10, but this is what I had. This is a, um, this was on the 4100 system before it got removed. A lot of the um, pull stations had these tags on them. And this was at the end of the school. This was um, Zone 10. And... I thought I had um, Zone 1, Zone 2, and Zone 3, but I could not find them. I may have them, but if I do, I have no idea where they are right now. So I just put Zone 10 here, even though it's not Zone 10. And this is my 2099-9756, one of them. I put the 4-wire um, 2098 base back up. And over here, I've got a Simplex 2901-9840. On the 4903-9101 stroke plate. And I put the um, 9201 back up. And in here, I finally changed the um, notification device in here. I got the 4904-9101. This one's got some paint on it. I still got a couple 4904s. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. For the extras, anyway. And out here, I've got another one of those pull station zone tags, as well as another 9856. And out here, another 2901 9840, also on a strobe plate. I've actually got quite a bit of these, if anybody hasn't figured out already. So, we're going to start it in here, just because. Or, actually, why don't we start it out there? Because when I removed all the pull stations, I had quite a bit of them that had some good brake rods. So I've actually never broken a brake rod on the channel. Well, actually, I have a long time ago, like five years ago. But that wasn't my pull station, and Jack gave me uh, gave me permission to pull that. So anyway, I've got a couple of these um, brake rods. As you can see, i got a brake rod in there. So I'm actually going to break that. So... We're going to see how hard it is to pull. Yep, of course I got them set up for a four-wire audible silence. So the strobes are continuing to flash. All the strobes, actually. So now we're going to go ahead and pull this. Do 
some down here. That sounds really good. I like the sound of that. Dude, those actually sound pretty good. Though, can't really beat the 9219s that I had up here once. I actually might do another setup with 9219s on this panel. Might as well. I'll do that later on, though. So, I'll go ahead and reset the pull stations. I'll go out here. Reset this one. Better. So that, right that actually was not hard to pull at all. These things are not hard to pull. They're kind of pointless. It doesn't want to come out. Notice this one kind of has some kind of squeal to it whenever it flashes. Listen. Does this one have two? This one doesn't. What is that, 49 or 4? Because I can... So... We're going to go ahead and reset, and I'll do some other signal coding options, because I know everybody loves signal coding options. And knowing that I didn't do signal coding options when I had the 9838s here, I'm going to do that on the 9840s, since 9840s are actually pretty much the exact same thing as 9838s. In fact, my 9838 is right here. They're literally the same thing as the 9840, except the 9838 is the 4-inch model. Well, the 9840 was the flush mount model. But other than that, they're literally the same horn. So, yep, I'll be right back. All right, code three.
Yep. Time to reset. All right, now last but not least, we will do continuous. All right, so I got the system set on continuous and well, it's time for, time to relive a fire drill. Reset for the final time. Reset in progress. This is probably one of my better sounding systems. So I like the sound of two 9840s together. Both sound good. Now I do actually plan on doing a test with 9219s on here again. Except I may just strictly use continuous because I will actually be using two wire 9219s. Basically the 9219s that I have not snapped the jumper on yet and converted to Fort Wire. 
A lot of people don't know this, but on the 4903-9219, in fact, I actually have one right here. So when you get these horns, they're actually not four wire. So here, I'm going to shut this up. Yeah, but these horns are actually not four wire right out of the box because there's this little let's see if I can get it to focus. That little jumper right there needs to be snapped as well as another jumper on this side right next to that black um black wire. You need to snap those two in order to convert them to four wire. And a lot of alarms came like that, so I actually already I did this, I already snapped them on my GMS. So as you can see, I snapped that one there, and same for right there. So the GMS is a four wire alarm now. Actually, has been for over almost two years actually. So anyway, that's it. We'll go ahead and exit out of that. I'm not gonna lie, I do actually end up leaving it on continuous after the tests. No, I'm not smoking anything. <laughs> so anyway, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, take care, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next system test.